Hello everybody. It's what is it? It's almost three o'clock Monday, December 4th. And Magnolia is getting ready to head out the Winya Bay Inlet. This is in uh, South Carolina below Georgetown. We're doing a overnight, uh, so a total of I think 114 miles from where we were anchored uh, when we left today. Um, got 90 some odd miles to go. Um, trying to get outside before it gets dark, and then if I've timed it correctly, then then we should get down to. St. Helena Sound uh, below uh, Charleston, uh, well below Charleston, uh, by daybreak tomorrow. So it's going to be a all-nighter. I'll be awake here in the cockpit and, and then uh, got uh, an anchorage planned. Uh, there's a place called Monkey Island down there and evidently there's a colony of monkeys there. I don't know whether we'll see any or not, but, but uh, we can hope. So that's the plan. Uh, we'll be crossing through the Charleston shipping channels tonight and last time I did that it was a white knuckle kind of affair. Uh, Lots of ships at anchor waiting to get in, traffic moving in and out at night. So that's likely going to be relatively hairy. But anyway, I've got the uh, mainsail up with one reef in it right now. Uh, brand new mainsail. This is the first time I had it up other than when I installed it. So it, uh, it looks like it's gonna do okay. Uh, the fit is, is the most important thing and it's just a tad uh, shorter on the foot than, than the old mainsail, which is good because the uh, cover didn't completely cover the, uh, the end of it there. Uh, looking at the, at the, the route information, uh, Right now we're doing 6.2 knots, 97.6 uh, nautical miles to go with an ETA of, of around 6.30 tomorrow morning. And that's based on the current speed. Uh, once I get out of this inlet uh, and turn more uh, in a southerly direction, I think the wind will, will uh, possibly improve a little bit and I can uh, put the jib out and, and shut the motor off. We'll see. I'm hoping that I've uh, timed this thing uh, properly. Slack tide was was uh, 2:11 p.m. today, so so I didn't miss it by too much. It's a fairly long uh, channel. Uh, from what I understand, there are are uh, levees on both sides of it, so you can't cut corners and take shortcuts you have to pretty much follow the thing all the way out before you you make a turn has, has uh, it's not bad uh, right now showing uh, 13 knots 
interestingly enough, my uh, readout down here doesn't match what the instrument is is telling <coughs> is telling it uh, the speed is. So I tend to believe uh, believe what the instrument is saying and not what the the uh, display readout is saying in this case. lined up a little better here I don't believe I've ever taken a video of, of, uh, of us doing a, an inlet and I'm thinking this is the first time that we've been out this one but so far so good Show you what I'm talking about these uh, these uh, levees coming out on either side and then there's some shoaling out here but we're gonna go out past this green five before we hang a right all right if anybody's wondering this is Aquamap running on a on a uh, iPad Pro. All the instrument information is coming from my, uh, that's wired into my uh, M-Track AIS unit, which creates a Wi-Fi hotspot. And the GPS and, and uh, all of that information, uh, you know, the track, the how fast we're going, how far we've gone, all of that is coming from that M-Track uh, AIS Wi-Fi hotspot. So any device that's logged on to that can get all of this other information. And that's my wind instrument, my depth. Uh, AIS says there's something within 562 feet. A small boat over there. Could be it. Nothing coming up behind us. Uh, anyway, uh, we're doing this uh, overnight passage to skip a lot of gnarly spots in South Carolina. Um, and try to come in relatively close to Beaufort, South Carolina, uh, because my uh, outboard for the dinghy crapped out on me in uh, Carolina Beach, and uh, same thing happened on my first Bahamas trip in the 2018, and at uh, Wrightsville Beach, and. And uh, so I ended up finding a place in Beaufort, South Carolina that had uh, small outboards in stock and they would deliver it to the marina there. And, and uh, so I have a, an eight horse outboard uh, waiting for me in Beaufort. So. Anyway, so that's why we're going there. But we're doing the overnighter to skip a lot of a lot of uh, shallow spots in <laughs> between Georgetown and Charleston. Basically, there's one place uh, called McClellanville that's really gnarly and, and uh, and I have run aground there, not. Not uh, the last trip, but but uh, my first trip down. So, towboat US knows me by by name. I'm afraid. All right. All right, we're getting ready to make this turn.
pallet is is on right now and and I can I can uh, make changes or adjustments in one degree or ten degree increments so I'm gonna do a ten degree and probably have to do it two or three times here if you can see the difference it's probably what 30 degrees so hit it once side of that green marker coming up. y'all wondering where where we've been lately I stayed uh, on a mooring ball three nights at Carolina Beach and uh, that was nice uh, went ashore did laundry of course the outboard overheated on the way back from that uh, um, so it wasn't as nice as it has been in the past um, but it wasn't Carolina Beach's fault and then uh, looking for a weather window to to do this offshore hop uh, something that wasn't uh, three to six foot waves uh, spent the last two nights three nights anchored behind butler island uh, on the lower Waccamaw river and uh, just above georgetown and and uh huge anchorage and, and really nice and there might have been one or two other boats you know pretty fair distance away from me each night but basically had the had the place to myself and uh, i didn't have to worry about running the uh, generator annoying people and charging the batteries because it was rainy and cloudy so i didn't get any solar to speak of and I uh, wasn't running the engine, so had to uh, had to run the generator to keep the batteries charged. No big deal. Nice power boat. Coming by. Don't know where he's been or where he's going. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna close for now. Uh, uh, just, just to let y'all know what uh, what's going on. Hope everyone's doing well, and and uh, y'all take care. <laughs>